if you're anything like me, when you're taking Bible notes, you always want a new like Bible study method or even just like a Bible notes approach because trying different approaches or different like Bible study systems really grows you in your faith. Well, today I have a new Bible study method that I wanna share with you. I guess I kind of made it up myself. It's not based off of something that I made up myself, but you'll get it in a second. Let's begin. oftentimes get the question of what denomination I am in and to be completely honest with you guys I try and keep it a secret. I try and keep it a secret because I don't want you to ever be in like one denomination. Here's an I am in a different denomination and feel like whoa I can either not trust her or I need to get out of my denomination and get in her denomination. Like either of those responses are not good. I'm a big proponent for honoring the differences in different Christian denominations because there's usually a reason why the church has split over specific discussions or debates and those differences in theology the questions about baptism or whatever they're usually legitimate enough discussions where they should be discussed they aren't entirely completely clear in scripture and we want to honor the fact that we don't have it all figured out and so if you are a brother and sister in a different denomination like I want to welcome you in because heaven is gonna be filled with brothers and sisters from different denominations, right? So first of all, if I ever say anything that you don't 100% agree with, I hope that you and I can struggle with that together because you always learn from struggling. You do not learn from being comfortable in your own bubble. But all of that to say, I will tell you that I come from a theological background that is reformed. So my denomination is like a reformed denomination. And you may or may not be very like used to hearing those words. I did not grow up hearing those words. In fact, I've had my fair share of experiences in many different denominations. So when I started dipping my toes into the denomination that I'm in today, I was super unsure about it. But when I say reformed, I want you to think like, what is it? 1519 Martin Luther nailing the 95 thesis on the church doors. The reformation was a call to reform, basically Protestants breaking off of the Catholic tradition and reforming, like getting rid of things that they did not view biblical. And so there were like five things that they wanted to hold on to, five solas. And sola is what? Latin for alone, okay? You had scripture alone or sola scriptura. You had grace alone, sola gratia. You had Christ alone, sola Christus. You had faith alone, sola fide and oh, sola deo gloria, solely the glory of the Lord. We want it to be only by faith alone, by grace alone. We want to only live by scripture, not any added laws or rules from the church or tradition. Solely Christ alone, it's not by our works. Solely about his glory and not about ours. Those are kind of like the core belief, right? Now, this is not some like systematic theology lecture. I don't share all of that just to make sure that you guys know my theological tradition. I share that because this is the core approach approach that I want you to take in your Bible notes. When you are highlighting through your Bible or when you're circling things or whatever, sometimes it can be really easy to be like, okay, this is the theme of the passage. Y'all know I, I preach following themes. I always want you guys to see the beautiful literary elements in scripture. I want you to see a character or a message or whatever. Those things are so important. But sometimes we look so much at those characteristics in the scriptures that we miss some theology. We miss how the scriptures meet what we believe. And that sounds like what I'm saying, we don't believe what's in scripture, but like you're reading Romans 5. Romans 5 is a chapter where it talks about Christ is the new Adam. So Adam came, brought sin, now everyone born after Adam is born in sin. And Christ came as the new Adam. So anyone born again in him is made alive in Christ, is given a new life, a new name, etc., etc. Okay, that's Romans 5. Now let's say you could read that and you could never ever read the word adoption. And so you wouldn't know that that informs our theology of adoption or really what it informs is a lot of our theology of atonement, Christ dying for our sins as the payment for our sins. So sometimes when we're studying the Bible, we can study the Bible, but we miss all of those like theological terms. We miss the theological application because let's be real, theological like big terms like adoption or atonement or justification, like all of those came after the fact that those words came because people were studying the scriptures and they had to put, you know, an idea to a term, right? So this approach is what you want to do if you're wanting to study more of that systematic theology. 
So for these five terms, for the five solas, I want you to pick five colors. So let's say scripture alone, sola scriptura, pick pink. And you wanna go through all of them and pick a color for each one, each sola. Then what I want you to do is go through scripture and every single time scripture talks about following God's word or letting it be a light to your feet, highlight them in pink. And you could grab like a Bible. These are my two project Bibles. I have a couple different ideas that I wanna try and so they are not used at all and I could go through these like next year when I read throughout the Bible and I could try this Bible approach. Every single time scripture talks about itself, highlight it in pink. For example, I got this from a Bible discount store and so I got this for 15 bucks. Like guys, don't feel like you have to spend hundreds of dollars on a Bible. There are better options. Someone just mentioned Ollie's has Bibles on discount. So anyway, you could pick a whole new like unmarked Bible and go through and follow this Bible study method. The point is, is when you're going through scripture, you're gonna find that these five solas are mentioned all throughout scripture, even though the word sola is not in the Bible. <laughs> even though the Bible was written way before the Latin language, you're gonna see that what we believe is so grounded and rooted in scripture. And that's the beauty of this all. You are doing kind of like a theological approach. You're highlighting literally where these theological truths come up through scripture, but you're doing it in scripture. So you're letting scripture inform what you already believe. You can also do this like with creeds and confessions for your specific tradition. So like the Apostles' Creed, and you could go line by line and ascribe each line of the creed a color. And then when you're reading through the Bible in a year or whatever, you can ascribe whatever truth that it applies to that color in your Bible. And the goal is not to just, you know, have a whole Bible filled out or make it through the Bible and highlight every single time scripture is mentioned. Like the goal is not to check a box. The goal is really the heart of this Reformation thing, this thing that I started talking about. Many theologians in this reformed circle will talk about always reforming. And I read an interesting article by Michael Horton today that talked about really the Latin, the first time that language of always reforming, the Latin was always being reformed. And the idea there is that Christ is always reforming us by what? By scripture. Because we have the Holy Spirit reigning in our hearts, God is always working in us, convicting us, teaching us, rebuking us, guiding us, and always reforming our broken hearts because we might think we have down the gospel, but we pollute it in our sinful brains or we pollute it in our pride or we pollute it in the ways that we misunderstand it or whatever. And God continually is by his grace reforming us and teaching us his ways and convicting our hearts in love. And so this Bible study method, when you're going through and ascribing like basic theological ideas, different colors in your Bible is a really great way for the Lord to do just that, to reform the way that you view scripture, to reform the way you view theology so that your theology and scripture might meet and might indwell in your life. So that when you wake up in the morning, and you're just reading through a random Psalm, you'll see sola fide, you'll see sola gratia, you'll see all the truths that are there, right there in that Psalm that you would have missed if you were just studying the Psalm. I hope this makes sense. I hope this really inspires you to dive deep into God's word. That's the whole point of my channel. If you guys wanna see some more Bible journaling ideas or like approaches to taking Bible notes, check out this playlist here. Or if you guys would like to hear more about theology and all of the richness that I've learned in seminary, check out this playlist here. And I will see you guys in those videos. Bye guys.